So I would say that is a very quickly moving, fast moving field right now. So while I'm agreeing with the statement that the current standard of care is for some patients that we can genetically characterize is FCR, chemoimmunotherapy. That's the physically fit patients that have a certain number of genetic alterations, IGVH, mutated patients uh, that have uh, trisomy 12, deletion 13Q, deletion 11Q. Those are doing extremely well with FCR if they are physically fit. So for these patients, it remains a standard. For all the rest, um, we also apply very often in European countries chemoimmunotherapy still. There is no obvious clear-cut standard versus kinase inhibitors. Uh, there, we need to do more trials. But I think it's now the field where we are not so certain. We know that they are all progressing and more research is done and uh, the trials will deliver new concepts. Here, an open question is, Are we? do we need the next generation sequencing in all our patients to understand the disease biology and then to go for targeted therapies? Or can we actually use very potent therapies that do it all? I mean, that is an unsolved, beautiful question. I'm currently, honestly, more in the camp of saying, well, some of the new combination therapies are so potent that for most of the genetic aberrations, they will, they will have a very profound impact and improve the outcome. So the, all the targeted thing in CLL may not be as relevant as it seems. However, what we will use it for is to study the evolution. So there is always exceptions to the good responses. There will be uh, refractory patients. And these refractory patients, we can read it from their leukemic genomes and we can read at which time point a resistant clone comes up and then try to do something else. So that's going to be the future to follow clonal evolution and to treat it early, not, not at relapse, clinical relapse, but maybe at molecular relapses. And uh, I think that's going to have an impact on how many patients. I don't know. We simply need more time to really have longer follow-ups on all the kinase inhibitors and the BCL2 antagonists in combination. I think clearly my personal conviction, monotherapy will not be a long lasting thing combination therapies of kinase inhibitors and BCL2 antagonists and antibodies and eventually even some chemotherapy, they will do the job.